This is News Trail, your daily dose. Hello there and thanks for connecting. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to News Trail. This Wednesday, 11th August 2021, I am Adetola Kayode. You welcome. 176,000, that's the number of Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine doses Nigeria is expecting to receive today Wednesday. Executive Director, National Primary Health Care Development Agency, Faisal Shuaib, says the JNJ vaccine, like the AstraZeneca, is safe and efficient against coronavirus disease, including the deadlier Delta variant. The JNJ vaccine, which is a single-shot vaccine, is expected to boost Nigeria's COVID-19 fight with the Delta variant sparking fears of a third wave of the pandemic. Meanwhile, the federal government says it has concluded the training of about 40,739 health workers across the country for the phase two strategic vaccine rollout. Nigeria had received 4 million and 80 doses of Moderna COVID-19 vaccine donated by the government of the United States last Sunday and has scheduled the commencement of the second phase of the vaccination for August 16. The West African Examination Council, WIAC, has announced Monday, August 16 to Friday, October 8 for the conduct of the West African Senior School Certificate Examination for School Candidates. Head of the Nigerian Office, Patrick Aregan, says Nigeria will conclude examinations on September 30, while the name is a major requirement for registration. 19,425 public and private schools across the country will present 1,573,000 789 students for this year's examination. Aragon revealed the COVID-19 pandemic informed the decision to have the examination in August and the need to have an international timetable. He urged candidate schools and supervisors to remain disciplined against all forms of malpractices. Paris Saint-Germain, the French soccer powerhouse, bankrolled by the state of Qatar, assigned Lionel Messi, the Argentine star who is leaving FC Barcelona and one of the best players of his or any generation. The agreement for two seasons plus an option year comes days after Messi bid a tearful farewell to Barca, the club where he had spent his entire professional career. Messi's signing was confirmed on Tuesday in a news release by the team after it was announced. Following mounting legal pressures and demand for his departure, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo resigned on Tuesday after an inquiry found he sexually harassed 11 women, copying a startling downfall for one of the most prominent politicians in the United States. The Democrat had served since 2011 as governor of the fourth most populous state. In a televised 20-minute address, 63-year-old Cuomo says his resignation would take effect in 14 days, derailing a long political career that once appeared headed for a possible U.S. presidential campaign. Cuomo's resignation spared him from possible removal from office through impeachment proceedings in the Democratic-controlled state legislature. Meanwhile, his Lieutenant Governor Katie Hukou will become the first woman to lead the state in its 233-year history. 62-year-old Hukou, a former Democratic congresswoman who has served as Lieutenant Governor since 2015, will take over from Cuomo until his third four-year term in office ends in December 2022. And that's it on News Show for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Detola Coyote. And always remember that your value does not depreciate based on someone's inability to see your worth. Have a fantastic day.